Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys this week? If you're looking for a single specific love reading, you can check out my playlist. I put them up every Monday. All right, Pisces, let's see where you're at. The energies around you, Pisces, what you need to know. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Clarity, please, for Pisces. What do they need to know? All right. Some kind of a decision here to do with trust issues. There's, we got two people, uh, maybe some kind of a disagreement here. Two people not agreeing. <laughs> okay, so there's a, it has to do with a judgment. Two people could be judging each other too, not trusting each other. It could be a reconciliation, but to me, unless I see more, it's really more about you know, releasing, releasing, shedding this tr this mistrust, okay? And it's about healing. So I feel we have a couple people at odds here. Um, yeah, I can see the Nine of Cups. Someone's being cautious, careful what they wish for here. But it's an energy of what's happening here. When two people are in that energy, nobody gets what they want, okay? Yeah, because of this. So it has to do with uh, judging each other here and making a decision. Yeah, and I can see the high priestess trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. See, it's where you just know, you feel you can't trust somebody. But I got to tell you, maybe someone's keeping a secret here. But I can see the energy, the nine of cups. This is, you know, so, I feel not nobody's getting what they want here because it's like a standoff. <laughs> Mind games, manipulation. I feel like it's just trust, okay? And it needs to be it needs to be healed. It needs to be let go. Uh, it has to do with judging. Two people judging each other. The high priestess. Yeah, see, there we go. We have a little Pisces cancer energy. So it has to do with uh, someone here being determined. Someone who's determined to uh, take control of a situation. So it could be control issues. Uh, but I feel it has to do with uh, this energy of success, See, this is, uh, you know, this is the energy where I, I feel we've got someone's trying to, maybe manipulating a little, trying to take control of a situation. It's like you just know, okay? With the high priestess, it's like you just know. So I feel it's an energy where you may be moving in another direction here, you know, taking back your power here. So we have strength. You know, it's about being strong and brave, being confident. Okay, somebody you're not feeling very confident about something. Now, I don't know if it's a decision here where it could be a reconciliation, but I feel it has to do more with healing and just releasing it. Okay, uh, making a decision to take control, to move in another direction, to stay strong and be brave. So, yeah, you have someone here who may be keeping a secret. It could be yourself too. But we shall see. Well, it's an energy of playing it safe, being careful. But see, no one's getting what they want. It's about indulging. It's an energy of filling that last cup. There's trust issues. And we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is a person who's often focused on their money. Uh, sometimes it's a person who plays mind games that act like they're not interested when they are. So it's a little bit of a manipulation energy. Um, but it, it's often, like I say, I, I see this card often as someone, there's something to do with money as well, because we know this is someone who focuses on their finances. Now, this could be something that's happened before. Okay, someone may be focused on the past here, you know, making a decision based on uh, the past. There's the strength, see? It has to do with somebody who's not very confident. This is somebody who wants to be, they want this to be successful, uh, but they actually, I feel it's an energy this person needs to uh, release this. They need to heal, okay? Someone needs to let go of trust issues because of something that's happened before. So yeah, I can see this person wanting success. I do see a possible communication. See, this person's cautious. They want you to indulge them. So what they'll do is they come in and they communicate with the Page of Pentacles, you see? Hoping they're going to have success. They're going to get what they want. But someone definitely isn't getting what they want. Nobody's getting what they want here because of this need to control. Yeah, tell me about the judgment. Yeah, see, there's the aha moment with the truth, <laughs> the victory. See, the light bulb goes off. Ah, okay, see, someone here is now feeling more confident. See, I feel like there's someone here who's getting something here. Now, some of you, there could be some kind of an idea as well. 
okay? Somebody having some kind of an idea. So really watch anyone who comes in. If they act like they're not interested and then they, they reach out to you. This is energy of someone, there's a lack of emotion here. Uh, but it doesn't, it's an energy of someone who acts like they're not interested, but they are. They're manipulating because they uh, are trying to control something. They may have a secret. It's possible they could be keeping a secret. But I feel it's a person who uh, really wants you to indulge them. And I feel like you're not. So now nobody's getting what they want. See, it's energy of sacrificing. It's energy of self-sabotage. Yeah, this is someone who doesn't want to give up something. They don't want to sacrifice. They have everything. See, this is someone who's, you know, their cups are all full. They're keeping everything to themselves. But I'll tell you what, this is a person who has everything but love. You know, it's that last cup, that emotional fulfillment. It's an energy where it's not complete. They didn't get what they wanted. See, because I feel like you're taking back your power. You're not giving them what they want, you see, because they don't want to sacrifice anything. And it does look like it has to do with money, okay, a little bit here. But I feel it's a person who um, just kind of manipulates a little and acts like they're not interested. I feel like the light bulb's going to go off into me, I see. I feel like you know, <laughs> okay, yeah self-sabotage but see there it is you know pisces you're trusting your intuition you're not being ruled by your emotions see this is where you're taking control of your emotions you're moving this could be a little emotional manipulation okay but i feel as though you're uh, this is the energy of your strength and your confidence being brave i see you looking at this with kindness and compassion i really do okay i i feel like you care Okay, but I feel like you're also understanding with that aha moment, the truth. You're seeing the truth. Yeah, this is someone who's keeping something from you, the truth. Yeah, yeah, see, mind games manipulation, you know. See, your light bulb's going off. Gotcha. Yeah, you're acting like you're not interested because they want you to indulge them, you to share your feelings first or for you to give them what they want. They, see, they're not wanting to give you anything. They don't want to sacrifice something, whatever it is. We'll find out here. We'll see anyway. Yeah, they could be keeping a secret, but I feel like your intuition is very powerful right now, so you can trust it, okay? Maybe you didn't trust your intuition in the past, okay? Take the things that resonate here. Leave the rest behind. Um, mm -hmm. The things that you know that work. See, this is something that didn't work because they're, they're not getting what they want. See, you're not budging. You're not giving in. You're protecting yourself too. See, they're holding back, protecting their money. They don't want to sacrifice it. But yet they don't want to let go. I can see it. They won't let go of you. But yet they play these little games, these little mind games of manipulation. So I feel it's an energy. Maybe this person judged you. Maybe they felt you were manipulating them. Okay, but I feel like you've got feelings here. And this is where this person wants you to tell them how you feel. Um, but then they kind of hold back a little bit. So it's an energy of someone keeping you stuck. So you're in protective mode. You know, taking the lessons learned. You're learning something here. Moving away to avoid a disaster. But I feel it's an energy of a transition. There's some kind of transition. Time in between. Okay, where you're becoming more confident, you're definitely feeling stronger uh, emotionally, definitely beautiful. You're very powerful right now. Okay, your intuition's strong right now. Beautiful. You're taking lessons learned from the past. You're moving forward calmly and peacefully. You're just staying calm here. So there is a transition, some time in between. Ah, there's this person, see? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person's doing some thinking. You see, they, they analyze the situation. They are, they're someone who has a strategy. That's their strategy. They play little games here. Um, but this is somebody here, I feel, who's uh, kind of been learning as they go. So this transition is this person doing a lot of thinking and analyzing. They're seeing this Queen of Cups energy. See? So someone who kept all their feelings to themselves, so now you're keeping yours to yourself. You're not giving it to them. You're not indulging them because they want you to, but they don't want to give you anything. They don't want to sacrifice. They're being stubborn. You are you are too because you're not budging. You're not moving. You're in control, you see? This is somebody who wants you. They need to be determined. They need to come towards you. So you know, obviously this is something that's been going on for a while. <laughs> see, you've sacrificed, you've given, you've indulged. I can see it. Um, but I feel like you're no longer doing it. 
okay? Because you're now looking in another direction here. See, it has to do with justice. This is a little Libra energy. Now, this is an energy of, you know, someone who didn't treat you right. They're analyzing it. This is someone who sees you as just right in a lot of ways. They see you as strong, confident, capable, you see. But you're not, you're no longer giving anything to this person. You're no longer sacrificing. You've sacrificed enough. You played along with the little game by the looks of it, some of you. Yeah. Tell me about this five of swords. You know, there's trust issues between two people. See, it's two people not trusting each other. Decisions being made based on um, the lack of trust. Yeah, see? Well, there's an energy. There could be other people involved. Some of you, too, I feel, as a side note here, maybe uh, getting off online dating. Okay, social media. Uh, moving away. Moving in another direction. Because it has to do with justice, fairness, and balance. Finding someone who's just right. Being strong and brave. So I feel as though you're just kind of staying in that energy. But I feel this person here is looking at this. There's something that they're learning. Lessons from the past. They're learning something from you. Uh, so it's possible here... Um, this person, I mean, they're definitely someone who's strong and confident about making a decision. So this is the energy where they're not very confident. See, they're, they communicate in a way that shows they're not confident. And I think you're going to see it. Uh, they're, they, they're, they're just a very analytical person, kind of uh, strategic, but they're learning something. Uh, you're probably teaching them how you want to be treated here because it has to do with this person coming in right, treating you right, being fair. It's also an energy of marriage material, but it has to do with balance. So this is a person who's kind of now feeling more confident, okay, that you're the right person. There, You can see it, see? Yeah, more confident about commitment. Ooh, tell me about that. Whoops, I was going to say, yeah. So this person definitely has a little bit of regret. It could be fear, a little bit of, you know, uh, unfounded fear to do with commitment but this is someone who's regretting why because you see you now they not only is there libra there's aquarius so it's an energy of this person uh, letting go releasing things that no longer serve mind games manipulation you see but this is where you're you're loving yourself first you're releasing this person this energy you're you're strong you're being strong and brave okay you're staying on course here you're not budging or giving in you're moving in another direction and it could be too where you just realize some of you this person's just not right for you they're not treating you right you see but i feel the energy is where the light bulb and i feel the light bulb goes off for this person too where they see see you know your worth and you know your value you're releasing this energy willingly you know, this person may feel like you're out of their league or they're trying to make you feel that way. <laughs> okay, or, you know, it may be, like I say, a little manipulation, trying to control something. This person likes to be in control. They don't like to give up control to someone else. But it's showing here that your, your intuition is telling you to stay strong and be brave, uh, to not be ruled by your emotions, okay? Because you may have allowed your emotions to rule you at some point. That's why I feel like maybe you kind of went along with this, didn't realize it, but you certainly are now. Um, and the, the Three of Cups tells me there may have been other people involved, but you can see that. So it does look like a possible reconciliation, reunion, get together, family and friends. Um, it's an energy of trust. You may have somebody in your social circle you don't trust too, okay? Or this person doesn't trust someone in your social circle. There may have been some gossip or something. And maybe there could be another person in here playing little games here. Okay. Could be a third party situation. But it doesn't look like a love interest so much as more of someone in the social circle. Um, because I can see the transition. That transition. That change. See the aha moment. Uh, the truth. Is, is mind games, manipulation, and just not trusting. So I feel there's somebody here where you know, okay, as well here. But I feel you're loving yourself first. But I feel it's an energy where you're, it's the realization the situation's out of reach, okay? So you're just letting go. There's the birth of something new. See, there you are. I feel like you're open here. You're definitely, see, you're finding balance here. You're finding your inner balance you see, you're letting go of things that no longer serve. So you're balanced now. You're doing what's right for you. I, I feel like there's the birth of something new. So this could be a new person. 
Now, you may meet somebody through someone else here, but I feel there's a, a this is where you need to make a decision about no longer sacrificing and giving. See, the, the Empress offers one little cup, nothing more, until you know what this person's intentions are, you, until somebody communicates clearly, till they find the confidence, see? Yeah. I feel it's a person who kind of raises the bar. Maybe you've raised the bar a little high too, but I feel like it's this person uh, raising the bar very high, um, kind of expecting too much, okay? So this is where I feel like you're, you've gone through a healing. There's a massive healing here. You, you, you've become the Empress energy. You're learning the lesson. See, you're taking all the things that you know. Maybe you've dated a lot of people. You've learned a lot. So I feel like you've definitely become wiser here, but definitely more balanced. Tell me about justice. Yeah, see, this has to do with work. It has to do with building. Some of you have been working on yourself. Okay, building yourself up, feeling a lot more confident. You've been focused maybe more on work. So your synergy of focusing on your love life and work in balance. I've been seeing a lot of this energy, um, especially with water signs lately, finding that balance. Because I know water signs often focus a lot on their love life, their feelings, their emotions, how they feel about things. So I feel as though you're choosing to keep that to yourself. You're keeping your feelings to yourself here. Um, but I feel it's more about balance. See, it's doing what's right for you. Focusing on your on your work, focusing on your love life. So I feel like you're achieving balance here. And I do feel it's energy of being fair. I feel somebody didn't treat you right. They weren't being fair. See, they're looking at it. They're analyzing it. And I do feel like you had some feelings for someone. You may have been very much in love. Some of you do love what you do. You love your work as well so i feel like you're achieving balance here like this is just beautiful for you for yourself but this king of swords is the uh, the one here see they're thinking about this they're learning something they're learn. this person is learning something from you okay um because i feel they're analyzing this situation this holding back you're not budging you're not giving in you're protecting yourself so this is somebody who's realizing you're just protecting yourself and you're not giving in because see they got regrets here i feel it's somebody here who i mean it could be unfounded fear that you may not feel the same about them but i feel like you're open you just want to keep balance in your life so I'm not sure what's happened, but it definitely has to do with somebody trying to control something and they've lost control, okay? Because you are taking your power back. You're the one with the power here. And that's what I feel that's happened. So I want to just move these and I got to focus on this King of Swords here because uh, there's something I can't quite put my finger on. <laughs> Maybe it's not yet meant to be known with the High Priestess, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't think you're going to let somebody know how you feel. You're not indulging. You're not giving them what they want because they're not giving you what you want. And they're thinking about that. King of Swords. Yeah, see? This person's definitely apprehensive, maybe shy. Uh, but it's often a person who comes up with excuses or tells you a story. It's a form of manipulation. They kind of tell you what you want to hear. So it could be somebody apologizing. But see, been there, done that. Yeah, I, I feel that you, I feel like you've, you've, you've got this. You're figuring it out. Okay, but I feel this person as well with that sword energy, the aha moment that you have multiple opportunities. You're just moving in another direction, taking your passion, your energy elsewhere. I feel this is an energy of uh, this hurry up. So this is somebody who feels they need to hurry up. They need to reach out because someone else is going to reach out to you. Tell me more about this king of swords. Sorry, I just want to dig into this person. Yeah, see, it's energy of teamwork, cooperation, and compromise, compatibility. This is somebody who wasn't compromising. They were stubborn. They were refusing to budge uh, to give you what you wanted. But somehow this person, I got to tell you, they kind of expected you to keep giving to them. And that's the energy. See, it's too much work. You've sacrificed as you've put enough work in. Now you're focusing on work. You're focusing on other things. I feel like you've done your inner work. This is someone who needs to do their inner work. You see, they're acknowledging something here, uh, the compatibility, the cooperation, the compromise, that you've compromised enough, you've sacrificed. See, they're, this is somebody who's now, it's about being confident to make a decision. They lacked the confidence. 
you're more you're you're stronger than this person emotionally you're a lot stronger than you probably realize okay so i do feel this person's going to reach out yeah they there's definitely some regrets here this person has some regrets but i and if it is yourself you are healing doing your inner work i feel this person needs to i feel like you're ahead of this person emotionally okay you're more emotionally mature so let's have a look at the sacrifice yeah see someone failed to see they failed to recognize see it's the person who was indecisive couldn't make up their mind what they wanted they may have been involved with other people okay they may have manipulated i feel there's definitely trust issues see um, and i feel with this person it has to do with their actual lack of confidence to make a decision now this person's feeling more confident see they're they're gaining the confidence to make a decision See, if you were to share your feelings with this person, maybe you're, you're thinking that they'll feel more confident uh, to share theirs. Okay, but it's also yourself failing to recognize that you've sacrificed enough. They're not willing to sacrifice. There's something they don't want to give up. Now, it could be dating other people, being online dating, social media. Maybe they've kept it a secret. Maybe it's yourself. Just keeping your options open. <laughs> we know the Empress often does until, you know, if there's no commitment... If this is someone who doesn't put in the effort. I feel like you're not putting in you're not putting in the effort. They need to put in the effort. There it is. See, you're keeping your feelings to yourself. It's like you know. You already know everything you need to know. Okay? You're being wise. I feel like your inner wisdom. But this person's also wise. They have a pretty strong intuition too. So I feel this is why I feel they're also connected to that ace of swords. They're seeing the truth. You see, something this person didn't see. I feel they were unable to make a decision. It's someone who can't make up their mind. So they kind of play little mind games to kind of hold on to you to not let go till they do. But I feel while this is going on, you're more than likely just open to other communication, other people, dating other people. And it's maybe you are staying on online dating, okay, and keeping it secret, keeping it to yourself. Yeah, but I think you know this person's secrets. I do. I feel like you're wise, but oh, look at that. See, they're keeping their feelings to themselves. You're keeping you know, your feelings to yourself. There's something being acknowledged here between the two of you. The trust. Nobody, you're not trusting each other. So there's decisions being made on, regard, with that, with not trusting it. Like it, it's an energy of making a decision and being able to be confident to trust it. This person lacks that energy. But I feel with that King of Swords, they're now confident on this decision because they're analyzing. And it's energy is someone who realizes they didn't treat you right. They weren't fair. They may have judged you because of gossip or something somebody else said, whatever the situation. But I feel here is someone who kept their feelings to themselves. See, this is someone who wanted you to do the work. But I think this is someone who needs to do their own inner work, too. They need to heal. See, that's that awakening energy uh, with the judgment. I feel this is someone who needs to heal. They need to, into me, I see. They need to go within themselves, okay, and look at this energy. And I do think they are acknowledging this, okay? They didn't treat you right. And I think this is someone who sees you as just right, too. You know, they're starting to uh, think and analyze. I feel like you had feelings. Now, it could be uh, the, because of the way you behaved, the way you communicated. You put in some effort. You sacrificed. You gave. You were willing to cooperate and compromise, and they weren't. So this is what this person needs to do. See, the transformation. So I feel there's been, this is the energy of that six of swords, this time in between. This person's learning something about this stuck and stubborn energy, being kind of selfish, expecting you to sacrifice and give and indulge them while they don't want to give you anything. See, it's, you know, see, they need to cooperate and compromise. They know it. See, you were willing to. And this is also something this person seeing is the compatibility, the things you have in common, uh, maybe friends or people, maybe this person's keeping a secret. Like you could have people gossiping back and forth between the two of you and you may be unaware because there's definitely secret energy. <laughs> Uh, but I feel it has a lot to do with inner wisdom, inner knowledge, knowing. Yeah, so someone here is a little shy and apprehensive, but it's also a person who makes up excuses to try to control. They're keeping you stuck. They make up excuses, maybe why they won't take you out or they won't introduce you to their friends or their family, or maybe it's yourself, you know, um, 
telling this person, you might be just going, sorry, but you know, I'm staying on online dating because there's no commitment regardless. So just take what resonates, but I feel it's connected to the King of Pentacles. Someone who kind of makes up excuses, they're shy, they're apprehensive. Um, somebody who, who, you know, I, I feel it's someone who's kind of been making up excuses here to hold on to you. They don't want to let go because they can't make a decision. They may have a choice. They may have somebody else. It's possible. They may be keeping it a secret. Okay. But not so sure I feel that. I feel it's more about this person doing their inner work, trusting their own intuition, you know, the energy. If it feels right, you see. Yeah, they're keeping their feelings. It's some unrequited love. I feel it goes both ways here. Nobody's sharing their feelings and their emotions here. Now, this, this person could be a Scorpio, some Libra, or maybe you have a choice and you can't make up your mind and you're just keeping your feelings to yourself, keeping yourself open to other offers and other opportunities until someone commits. Because we know you're single till somebody commits, till they make a commitment, till they put in the effort. That's where I feel is, is definitely some of you, the scenario there is the control. See, this is someone who's lost control because you've taken your power back with the Empress. You're, you're, if someone doesn't want to commit, you're single. You can keep yourself open. You can keep dating. You don't have to sit and wait and let someone keep you stuck if they can't make up their mind. So it's an indecisive person. Someone who's failing to recognize something about themselves. You see? And if you can't make up your mind, well, keep your options open. I feel like it's them, um, definitely. Aquarius, Libra energy. Yeah, see, it has to do with the choice, a power struggle between two people. So I feel this is uh, you taking control. It's about staying on course and being determined. So now this person feels confident. They feel more determined. It's about two people sharing their feelings their innermost selves, their secrets, see, their, your innermost selves with the high priestess here twice. This person may have Pisces in their chart as well. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you know this person has feelings, but I feel like you're still not going to indulge them because they need to put in some effort. Or you're just, like I say, um, you're not going to budge here. I feel like you're open to other opportunities. Um, you may just want to be friends first. This could be a friendship, too, where someone's in that energy of someone in your social circle that wants to connect. Um, another scenario that I see, it's quite strong, actually. It definitely fits. Um, I feel where you're kind of open. Okay, I feel like you're just leaving yourself open, but I also see you being very balanced. I, I feel like you've gone through a healing. Uh, I feel like you've made maybe even a reconciliation with yourself as well. <laughs> yeah, but it's about two people connecting, sharing your innermost feelings, uh, seeing eye to eye. See, there it is. You're looking at the details, you know. This is an energy where you look at that. Do I um, have the same, do I feel this way about this person? Because uh, you're looking at the situation. See, seeing eye to eye, talking, communicating, being friends. So I feel like you're going to get a communication from this person. Yeah, it's the energy of manifesting. See, it's the tools, everything. You have everything you need. You've mastered life. You're balanced. So you have all the tools. You have all the information. This is what you're looking for, making sure you have the information. Everything here is that you need. This person's trying to manifest you, but they're using manipulation. I feel because they're shy and apprehensive in a lot of ways about being open emotionally. But it has to do with this person doing the inner work, being mature. You see, and that's where I feel you're a little ahead of this person. See, it's about being patient. You may have to be patient with this person if they are shy. Okay, They may kind of manipulate a little bit to get you to tell them how, um, for, for you to tell them how you feel. They want It's like they want to know how you feel first, you see. But I feel it says let this person do their inner work. Just be patient, okay. Uh, they will invest in this when they're ready. And I think they want to know if you're invested, if you're interested, if you feel the same. So this could even be just a friendship, someone in your social circle, because something is uh, looks like it's about to be exposed here uh, for some of you. But I, I feel like you have the tools, the information. I think you know. 
Yeah, this person manipulates a little because they're shy. If you have someone who emotionally manipulates you and plays mind games, yeah, you're going to take your power back. You're no longer going to put in any effort, you see. This person definitely, regardless of what's going on, they, they have some inner work to do. So there it is, the choice in love, little Gemini energy. So this is making choices in love, being determined, see? I think this there's love here between two people. And this person, if they if they want you, they need to have that determination. See, they need to be determined to come towards you, to say something. Okay, and it, I, I feel it's an energy of just waiting, being open, Okay, that's your, you know, shower your abundance. Tell me how you feel. Because I feel like you've already maybe shared something. You've let this person know how you felt. I feel at some point here because I can see you sacrificing. See, they don't want to sacrifice. I do feel there's a little worry about finances, everything they've worked for. There's the opportunity. See, they need to offer that cup. That's two people offering each other that cup. This is uh, uh, communicating, talking and communicating, sharing your innermost feelings. So you're looking at this, looking to make sure you have the information, you have the tools. So this person's going to reach out and you're going to look at this to make sure they're not manipulating. If you have trust issues from a past situation, that could be yourself healing that, Okay, going through that awakening, um, taking off the rose-colored glasses, the blinders. I feel like you've been doing some inner work. I do. And I feel like you've mastered the elements of the queens. You've learned a lot of lessons here. So this is, I, I feel very powerful for you. You have a fresh new start, a new opportunity. You've got a king of cups here. It could be this person here who is, you know, mind games manipulation. And maybe it's happened two or three times. Because um, I do see a lot of lessons. But you have this fresh new start. Okay, you have this opportunity being presented. Oh, you've got a uh, Taurus energy, uh, Virgo Capricorn. Wow. Yeah, you've got someone who's looking, uh, making plans for the future, grounding themselves, finding their balance. See, this is someone finding their inner balance. Now, you may have a few opportunities too. This could be somebody you work with, but you've got a person who's doing their inner work. They're keeping it to themselves. This is someone who is very wise, Okay, they're keeping some kind of a secret. The secret is their feelings, their emotions. That's the secret. This has to do with being patient. It has to do with investing. Will this pay off? See, they're looking at whether this pays off. See, so it's obviously a person who feels you're out of their league. They're a little apprehensive or, you know, like, and it's also yourself raising the bar with that, um, the star card, raising the bar. You may be um, raising the bar a little too high, so it's also about balance, okay? Um, making this person, maybe you're inadvertently making this person feel that way, but I feel this is something you'll master, okay? Absolutely. You're go you, it, the light bulb's going to go off, so it's about not be making it uh, so difficult or so hard, um, and it's a vice versa energy here. So this is someone who's stable financially. It has to do with marriage, commitment, justice, treating you right. Are you the right person? See, this is someone who's been indecisive. That's why I actually feel it's all one person. But there are other energies here, likely of other people you've dated, you see, where you've had uh, trust issues. But I feel it has to do with this person um, acting like they're not interested because they don't, they're not confident that you feel the same, Okay. King and Queen of Pentacles, power couple. There you go, Pisces. See, this is two people being balanced, focused on their money, their finances, balancing out life. This is about two people being comfortable with each other. So it's about being patient with each other until someone gets comfortable enough. So it's about you making them feel comfortable. Okay, maybe that's what it is, just being patient, maybe just being friends first until you get comfortable. Okay, because there, there's definitely this energy of work. It's about two people building, okay? Two people, both, both people need to be confident that you're doing the right thing, that this is the right person, the right choice, the right path. So the secret is they have feelings. They've been keeping it to themselves, okay? 
because I feel they're not sure you're invested in, you feel the same. So they're hoping this pays off. They're going to offer you this. They're hoping it pays off. Could be an invitation. They may invite you to something, uh, maybe just as friends, companions, you see. King and Pentacle, King and Queen of Pentacles are the power couple, but they're also two people who uh, like to be prepared for the future, two people who are grounded and sensible and practical. So I feel that you're just a step ahead of this person. They take a little longer to figure out how they feel emotionally, so they have a tendency to keep a lot of their feelings to themselves, and I feel like you know, okay? Because the Empress knows. <laughs> especially in this situation. Oh my goodness. So let's have a look at this investment. Where's this headed for Pisces? Oh yeah. So it's a healing, releasing negative thoughts. This is this person going through the healing, investing in healing, taking a little break. Okay. Taking a little bit of a break here to release the negative energy, the thoughts that pin them down. Yeah, this is someone pinned down by their thoughts, you see. Negativity. So this is a person who's healing. So it's about investing and being patient, letting this person heal. Okay? Yeah. And vice versa. Vice versa. Healing past, healing trust issues. See, no more mind games, no more manipulation. No more playing games here. Yeah. So... It looks like it's just a matter of taking a little bit of a break. This person clearing out their head, their thoughts. I feel this is someone who just kind of lies there at night. You know, should I invest in this? Will it pay off? These are the thoughts that pin this person down, you see. They want to offer you this cup. Their cup runneth over with feelings, but they're hiding it. They see you as marriage material. They see you as just right. Everything they could wish for. And I feel like you both kind of, you know, there's something mutual here with the star, you know, this healing energy, this mutual energy. You both, it's like they adore you. This person admires you, adores you. I feel like it's, it goes both ways because the king and queen of pentacles are here. Wow. Right, Pisces? I feel like you've got this handled. I do, I feel. But if you have raised the bar a little too high, okay, making it a little hard uh, for this person who's a little apprehensive, a little shy, but you know, this shyness is going to go away. That's their inner work, working on that energy. See, their emotional stability, being emotionally available, their maturity. So that's what this person's... Um, thinking about here so let's just pull out one more card oops there we go yeah see the judgment the healing this person's releasing negativity the thoughts that pin them down to make a decision this is somebody here who needs to hurry up and decide <laughs> but i feel like you need to be patient okay yeah so the decision now it could be a reconciliation by the looks of it for some of you okay you might run into this person somewhere where it's this is what happens after a break you could just run into this person someplace where you socialize and then it kind of gets things moving so but we have a power couple so it has to do with making a decision okay judging this i feel like both this person judged you wrong okay maybe you judged them wrong because of trust issues yeah they definitely have them i can see it yeah. They need to be stronger. They need to be confident that you're the right person, that you feel the same. All these things, that these thoughts they're having. See, it's about taking action. It's about fighting for something they want. They need to be confident, you see. There's obstacles and challenges this person needs to overcome. They're also probably a little worried that you have other options. You're seeing other people, okay? Maybe that's how you felt. You judged this person and felt they had other people. There may have been comp competition. The Empress doesn't compete, too. So there's things this person's starting to realize. But I feel it's the obstacles for them, the challenge uh, to fight for something they want here uh, and to overcome um, shyness. I feel like it's shyness. Something to do with their inner self. Okay, inner healing. So there's the emotional fulfillment. See, so making a decision that makes you happy, vice versa, what fulfills you emotionally. It's about them putting themselves out there, putting all the cups on the table between two people. Um, the two of cups, see, and the ace of cups is there. 
There's the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups. You're about to get something you want. It's giving you a heads up to prepare. It's about making this person feel comfortable, okay? Getting prepared to be balanced, to be calm, okay? They have to make you feel comfortable too. The Queen of Pentacles likes to feel safe and secure. You like to know this person's stable. You see that you're you're safe with this person. So lovely. Take care, Pisces. I wish you the best in this. I see some emotional fulfillment and a decision being made. Okay, This is about your future. This is about a happy home, happy life. Now, there could actually be an invitation to an event, a party, a festival, Okay, something, because sometimes this is a wedding, it's a celebration, could be family oriented, but it, I often see it as festivals and you know, just large gatherings that's really emotionally fulfilling. So if you, this person does invite you somewhere, you're going to have a really good time, even just being friends first. Okay, take care. See you soon.